Let's start by talking about how to use a vector and define a vector in Mathematica. So we define a vector using an array with curly brackets. So here v is defined. And whatever you call v any time later with shift enter, uh, it'll always be defined that way. If you forget and you use curly or use uh, regular parentheses, it won't work. You have to go back and put curly brackets in order to make the vector actually well defined. So how do we work with vectors? Uh, well, let's say we're working with uh, a vector, say w, and we want to know what w's dot product is with itself. So we're going to do w dot w. The dot here is just a period, so that tells us the dot product. w squared just squares the entries. 2 times w multiplies each entry by 2. Uh, you can add vectors, so w plus u here is exactly what you'd think. And you can also take the dot product between those two vectors, w dot u. You can also take divergence and curl in Mathematica. So let's call v x, y, z. Um, and then let's take the divergence of v. And so you can either do it by clicking on this little button here that helpfully hops up or pops up, or you can do divergence of v, except you have to tell it what coordinate system you're using. So you have to do comma x, comma y, comma z. Same thing for curl, you can take the curl of v, uh, but put x, comma y, comma z in the definition of curl. Okay, how about um, scalar functions and looking at scalar functions and taking the gradient of them? So let's say we have a function f, x squared y plus x. So you can do a contour plot by writing contour plot uh, and of f, and then you have to define where you want it to be from, from x from negative 3 to 3 and y from negative 3 to 3. If you mouse over the contours, it tells you uh, what the value of that contour actually is. Okay, so let's also take a gradient of this. So naturally grad of f with respect to x comma y gives you the gradient of f with respect to x comma y. If you do x, y, z, of course there's no z in f, and so you just get zero for the z component of the gradient. Okay, so let's look at how we plot vector fields. So let's take v to be x comma negative y. And then to plot it, we just call vector plot. As always, we have to tell it the range for x and y. Here, we're just taking negative 3 to 3. Okay, so this is what this vector field looks like on the xy plane. Uh, let me define a new vector field, y comma x, and plot that vector field. And I want to compare these two vector fields to each other. So I make a new plot. And if I want to compare them, this is kind of not a very useful way of doing it. So just by staring at them. But I can define the first plot. I'll just call it P1 that defines it to be something P1. And define this one to be P2. And so then I can use this uh, idea or this function of show show p1 comma p2 shows the two fields on top of each other. Of course that I can't really tell them apart so I can go back in and call vector style red for my vector field 2 and now I can actually tell them apart I can overlay them right on top of each other. I can see the two vector fields clearly. Let's say I have a 3d vector x comma y comma z. I just do vector plot 3d in this case. And so I want to vector plot 3D U, and again I have to tell it the ranges for X, Y, and now also Z, since it's a 3D plot. And so this should give me a plot, essentially a box, in X, Y, Z, in three dimensions, and I can actually grab onto that and manipulate it, pull it around, uh, and it shows me what the vector field looks like in three dimensions. If you're never quite sure what a function does, um, you can always just type it in, click F1 to bring up help, and that will bring up more information about the particular function that you're looking at. Okay, hopefully this helps you understand how to do vectors in Mathematica.